What were we going on about then? Did I mention Jamie McDonald? Oh. Where's he going now with Eddie Hearn? Are they going to deliver for him? Jamie McDonald, world class fighter. He came here, he sat in that chair there, right? Jamie McDonald. Off at back of two losses. Eight, two, and one. And, him, and Dennis said, Come on, I'm going to take you to the Olympics. And I'm going to show you how to get in a routine and train properly. How the, how the proper boxers do it. So they went to the Olympics with Frankie Gavin, David Price, Darren Sutherland, God rest his soul. Who else? Frankie Gavin, Billy Joe. All them boys, James DeGale got a gold medal, didn't he? He went there six weeks uh, out there with Dennis. Dennis paid for all that. They came back here and Dennis was saying, you know what, I've got a kid here who's going to go all the way. Dennis sent him to Miami with Steffi Ball. Dennis paid for all that. I don't know why Steffi's running around saying different. Dennis paid for that, Steffi. Get your facts right. If you don't believe me, give Dennis a ring. That's the message from Dennis to you, Steffi. Dennis paid for that. I don't know what you've been told. Went to Miami. They put time and effort in and money. And that kid there delivered. He fucking delivered, mate. He can fight. Forget all the other bollocks. He can fight. And him and Den were like that, like brother and son. Or, or Dennis would rather say big brother. They went all the way, them two. What a great story. British, Commonwealth, European and world title. If that were me, I'd smash that fucking picture straight down off of here. There's pictures of me in here, but... I'd smash that straight off. Clinton's up there. Went with Dennis from day one to end. How many people can go with somebody from day one turning pro and to your last fight winning Brit Central Area, British, Commonwealth, European and a world title just like Billy Joe. Fought Tarver, Glenn Johnson three times. Do you know what I mean? Fighting people like that, Tarver's Cloud on a Don King show in America. He could have had the same money what, what he... What he uh, got at Sky with Dennis if we didn't listen but now where is he now? Hey, he got he got sent out right I'll tell you how bad it is they stripped him down so there were no on him and they fed him to that I know you or whatever you call the, the Jap guy Japanese kid and smashed him up now when he comes back if he does fight if he steps up one weight that's good isn't it but if he steps up a couple of weights why did they leave him all that time at that weight? You know why? They threw him under a bus. And he was stupid enough to put up with it. This is my new best friend. Oh, Eddie Hearn, look. Oh, if you want a watch, we'll sort you a watch. I'll show you where to get a watch from. Listen. This is my new best friend. Are they best friends now? When you're not needed, there's a button on your walk phone. It's called fucking mute. Ask Dave Allen about Eddie Hearn's mute button. When Dave Allen's not needed, they'll mute Dave, won't they? Dave, but Dave knows the boxing, doesn't he? He gets it, doesn't he? Jamie probably didn't get it because he's a bit gullible. Do you know what I mean? But, boy, could he fight him? And do you know all the mental aspects of it? He would have soaked it up like a sponge. Because I spoke to Dan, I said, did he listen to you, Dan? Dan, he says, soaked it up like a sponge. They went British Commonwealth, European, world title, 13 and 0. There you go. Ricky Hatton, he went 4 0 with Dennis. They all think the grass is greener, don't they? There you go. Well, this is how I look at it, right? They're banging trouble, them, matchroom. They are bang, bang, banging trouble. And all I see happening now is legal people, legal people getting involved. But, uh, let's just go through a few things that I've jotted down here. I'm looking for my glasses here, they're on my head. The inquest, angry, upset, who's to blame? Now, we've, we've, all, we've all agreed on that one, haven't we? Josh was probably angry now. He's upset. He'll play a blame game in about a week, but expect Joshua to be training down here this sometime this week and all the matchroom gimps, you know, 78 Sports TV, Hatman Strikes Back, Sporting Icons, they will all spread the gospel. Sure as eggs are eggs. They will spread the gospel. And all the trolls on ticket deals, they'll be spreading the gospel. They'll be regrouping. But Al Heyman is the man now. The hangers on, 
will be blamed now and AJ does roll with hangers on and they'll be blamed yeah I suppose yeah you could say they're gonna cop it now I'm afraid they will cop it shout out to all them people taking piss out my laces yeah I do it in like a butterfly don't I dicky bow my ex missus used to say to me look at you with your dicky bows showing me up so I used to go out with this girl that was 10 years younger than me and uh, when I was 28, she was 18, and I had a, I used to put them in a dicky bow. She used to go mad. She'd be on, she'd be on her knees in pub. I said, "What are you doing?" She on her knees in pub. I said, what, "What are you doing? Get up!" She'd be tucking them into my laces and doing it so that I didn't have a dicky bow. <laughs> Wilder and Fury now for now the best in the world. Yeah, they're the top two. Joshua is Joshua and also ran. Yeah, he's an also run now. Will he fight again? Yeah, he will because he's greedy. Uh, he got beaten up badly. Does it need to be a rematch, Porky? They don't really need to be a rematch after a beatdown like that, does there? Eddie Hearn would say, why do we need a rematch for that? But they've got a rematch clause. So it's just a case of cashing him out now. Is it as bad as Tyson and Douglas? No, I don't think so, because Mike Tyson were running through everybody, wasn't he? He'd, never, he'd, he'd only shipped one punch in his career. He'd only been hit once, and that was... Frank Bruno caught him with one punch, didn't he? That was it. Um, didn't he get beat a year later, within a year? I think he got beat a year later, didn't he? So the signs were there. The signs were there after Klitschko, weren't they, really? The signs were there. So... Joshua versus Ruiz will go the same in the rematch. I'm not so sure. I think he'll fight a cagey fight. And I think it could probably go to points. I don't think he'll be risked. It will damage him that fight. He's not going to come out swinging, is he? Uh, I think he'll go to points and he'll hope for a hometown decision. If they come to England, they're going to get fucking jobbed, aren't they? They'll end up with Phil Edwards as referee. And, uh, you know, they'll probably get CJ Ross out of retirement to, re to be a judge. Uh, Joshua Ruiz will go the same. Ern knows this, that's why he mentioned rematch 17 times in a 4 minute 58 second interview on IFL. Count the times he mentioned that, 17 times. Hashtag ping Nicola, put 17 up in the corner. Ping. He be froze out now as he's based it all around AJ. He's lost now, so trust me, they be on back foot. Yes, I think that Eddie's going to be on the back foot now. Eddie is on now, the outside looking in, isn't he, basically? Well, that's what's happening, isn't it? He's like peeking through a window. He's not looking, you know, he's not out there, is he? No, I'll tell you who is out there, though. Is that Stig? Is that the Stig rummaging in my dustbins? Dennis, Stig's rummaging in your dustbins. I'll show you where you're going, Stig, if you don't sort your head out. You're going in Dennis's crusher, out there. No, I'm only joking. Shout out to Stig. I'm going to give him a shout out because I had a bit of a conversation with him and I said to him, Stig, stop tagging Porky, Porky's Corner into these tweets that are cringe. I don't want to see it. I, don't, I didn't like that Fury Power thing. Fury Power! Fury Power. I didn't like all that. I thought it was fucking cringe. I don't like anything cringy and cheesy. I don't like that. It ain't for me. And Stig, you took my advice and you're calling yourself Stig Power. You're not doing something off the back of somebody else's name. So I think that's good. Stig Power, you're being your own man, aren't you? It's like me. They call me Porky, don't they? Because I'm skinny. Right? That's cringe, isn't it? So, I'm myself, I'm accountable for what I say on here. You know, people pull me at shows and I didn't like what you said and I said, well look, it's an opinion, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? Fucking get over it. Do you know what I mean? If people don't like it, come to a show and pull me. It's as simple, isn't it? Come and confront me. And we'll talk about it over a beer, like gentlemen do if you don't like it. I don't get too personal, but Joshua, if you're watching, Fuck you, Team Andy Ruiz. So... <laughs> hubba, 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 hubba! What a time to be alive! They'll be begging for that Dillian White fight now, won't they? For no belt, because 
Boxing's not about belts, it's about the fights. That's what you're going to see now. Yeah, but he ain't got a belt. Joshua's got four belts. How many belts has Joshua got a day? <laughs> Eddie, what's that you were doing in interview? It's about the Benjamins. Listen, it's about belts, Eddie. All right, if you want a snake belt, I've got one here for you. Uh, Beats adverts on Dad's own channel. Ha ha ha. Yeah, the Beats adverts were coming up between the rounds. I've seen that. McCracken, he's got to take some blame. McCracken, right? If your fighter is gassing after a couple of rounds, it's a training issue, a fitness issue. So, what are they doing wrong? If Joshua's fit but he's gassing like that, it's a mental issue. It's down to the trainer. The trainer has to take responsibility. I've met Robert McCracken seven times, and I like Robert, Robert McCracken. And Robert McCracken's got psychotic brothers who don't give a fuck about stomping people's heads in. They are the Zulu, whatever, Birmingham City fans, aren't they? They're crazy. His brothers are crazy. So, I'll choose my words very carefully, but Robert McCracken has got to take some blame for this. He's got to take blame. When you're getting 1.5 million a fight, twice a year, that's 3 million pound a year, and I've been for 7 years, you have got to take some responsibility when you fight a losers. You've got to do. Now, I heard Terry Chappendama's pod where he said that imagine how good Carl Froch would have been uh, if, he didn't, if he had a different trainer to Robert McCracken. Uh, maybe, but also Robert McCracken's got to take praise. Carl Froch got to pound for pound number five in Ring Magazine and, uh, and Boxrec number five. And he also ended up Boxrec number one in his weight division at, at one point So when he was world champion. So... This is how I look at it, right? When Carl Froch turned pro, he were all right hand. That's true. Like a lot of orthodox fighters, he were all right hand. Robert McCracken showed him how to work his jab. They sent him to training camps with Howard Eastman. Now, what's happened since then? Now, Howard Eastman had to pay Froch a wage for that, for the Hopkins fight when Froch were a chief sparring partner. Joshua doesn't pay for sparring partners. They are told it's a privilege to spar with a champ. You use all the facilities up here if you get selected. Now, Dave Allen, ask Dave Allen about when he was sat up here waiting three hours to spar Joshua, and you don't get paid for it. So you've got to look at it like this. Does McCracken have to take some responsibility for not paying for sparring partners? Maybe. Maybe they do have to take some responsibility. Because when you're sparring Fraser Clark, now I did a video about Fraser Clark the other day, that should be out this week. Bing! Fraser Clark. Hashtag Fraser Clark. He's 28 in August and he's not turned pro yet. On his Twitter it says he's 25. He is 28. Never turned pro and he's sparring Joshua. What's Joshua going to learn sparring him? Because he was sparring him eight years ago. So, which brings me to... Hashtag ping, Rob, uh, Joshua, court case for drugs. Now, is all that, are all them stories going to come out? Now, ping, that picture that you've just seen there, Joshua at court. Now, when Joshua's asked questions about that off people, they refuse the press pass again. Them media guys, they then go and tell everybody else that Eddie Earns refused them a press pass, right? So people don't ask questions about that. What did you get in trouble for, Anthony? Oh, just some crazy shit when I was a teenager. Just crazy shit. Nothing serious. Well, it's it, it, drug-related. Ah, oh, just possession of weed. He's making out. It's like a tenner bag of weed. It weren't a tenner bag of weed, were it? They actually got caught with, what, 251 gram? Eight ounce. So if you are a nine bar, he got shortchanged by an ounce, didn't he? Or had he already sold an ounce? He got pulled in London for speeding. The copper smelt weed. He had a GB tracksuit on and it was in a GB bag. So why weren't he kicked off the team by McCracken? Why weren't he kicked off the team? There's a kid up there failed a drug test. Only one person, that kid called Muhammad Ali, the Asian kid, 
He failed a drug test. McCracken kicked him off the team. Why didn't Anthony Joshua get kicked off the team? I'll tell you why. Because he'd already won a silver medal at Bacow, hadn't he? Were it Bacow? Is it? And he was destined to go to Olympics, wasn't he? As the great hope. He was destined to go to the Olympics as the next big thing. The new Frank Bruno. So he were given a chance. Now if you were going to court, and you break your bail on an assault charge, because don't forget he battered this kid, didn't he, Joshua? He battered that kid. Battered him. He got done for assault. And he broke his bail, didn't he, with a drug charge. Right? Now... If you're getting done and remanded for two weeks, you've got to look at it like this. You got bail for assault, right? And he got done for drugs. He got two week remand and then they dealt with it at court, didn't they? He didn't get it dropped to possession. If you go online, you can easily see what he got done for. Possession intent to supply. When do you get caught with eight ounces possession? Who gets a possession charge on eight ounces? Unless you're a grass. He got done for intent to supply. It wasn't possession. Fucking eight ounces. Why are you going to smoke eight ounces? Come on. Possessions when you go out and you buy a tenner bag, in it. That's possession because you're going to smoke it. What's he going to do? Sit with a big thing like that when they're going drug tested? Look. He didn't test when he got drunk, Joshua, right? when he got done for drugs. They test you now, don't they, to see if you've been driving on them. He never failed a test for weed, so it weren't for him, were it? They have a testing program up here when you go into championships and things like that. He wasn't smoking it. He was selling it. Eight ounce online. When's it all going to come out? They brushed it under the carpet. The kid who got the good hiding brushed away. Why did McCracken give him another chance at the EIS? I'll tell you why, because they had a cash cow. They had it all planned, Eddie Hearn, Joshua, McCracken, they were all in on it together. Barry Hearn, they had it all planned, the new Frank Bruno. He manufactured him from years ago. They had a blip, a setback with the assault charge and the drugs. And they just kept going forward, they turned a blind eye. Do you know what I mean? Anybody else who steps out of line up there, you're fired out at gym, aren't you? Fired out of the programme. We know what goes on up there. I'm close to people that were in that group. Do you know what I mean? So, it is what it is. It'll all come out one day. But, when's that going to come out about the carjacking? Eh? Bing! Odie Mars watch there. That's his watch. Now, when's it going to come out about that? When? Do you know what I mean? When's it going to come out? Do you know what I'm saying? Two o'clock in the morning. They're trying to create this squeaky image. Look, do you know what, Joshua? He's probably the most sensiblest guy out of all of them. He probably even might even be a nice kid. Look. Do you know what? I feel that Joshua needs to just sit down one day and just say, do you know what? Fuck this. I'm not fucking having this. I can't stand Andy Ruiz. I want to punch his fucking head in. But they've got to be nice, haven't they? They've got to be nice. I want to see the real Auntie Joshua come up to the front, forefront. That video, The Dark Side of Anthony Joshua YouTube, go and fucking watch that. Every now and then it surfaces. And then the wee lady in had to paper over at cracks and water it down a bit. He's a young kid in it that's had all these millions thrown at him and all this adulation and that. He's just a kid from the streets like me, like everybody else. That's all he is. Wrong side of the track, he's been in Nate, Nate, just like me, just like Peter Fury, just like Tony Sims, he's, got, he's done jail, Tony Sims. They're just like us, the street people. But he's ended up, he's in a position now where he's got blue chip companies around him and he's assigned a minder, you know, to, that minder has probably been told in no uncertain terms like Joshua, don't say out to Eddie about this. Do you know what I mean? He's probably been let into the circle. He's there to spy on him. And I know what goes on. I know what goes on every now and then when De Dennis used to ring me and he'd say, Has Liam Cameron been out? So I ain't seen him out. Have you been boozing with Liam? I said, No, we had a game of pool. Oh, all right. Promoters, they have money invested in fighters, don't they? That's what happens. You know, unless you're a special type of fighter like Clinton Woods and Frotch. 
they play it by the books, don't they, them guys? The gym rats. But they don't go out and let their hair down, do they? The, the, the family men, aren't they? But Joshua, he's not from that background, is he? You never see him pictured with women, do you? Why don't you see Joshua with a woman? Because they want to keep that allure, don't they? They want to keep it, is he gay, is he not gay? Because they want the gay market and they want the female market. So you're not getting pictured with any women. See where I'm coming from? All you're getting pictured of is with men. So they'll have that market cover, but, you know, he's had a kid to something, so he's not gay, is he? But it's all, he, look, that kid can't be himself, can he? So there is a part of me that feels sorry for him, but I'm not buying into all this, these hats he wears, be humble and stay humble, and uh, it's about unity. Grab it, microphone. It's about fucking unity. What it about unity when you were smashing people's faces in? Hey, where's the bad man? Or as Terry Chap and Dharma put it, where's the savage? Where were Joshua the savage after the Ruiz fight? Hugging and all that and being nice and... I don't want to see all that. I want to see him saying, listen, he wants to rip Ruiz's head off. I mean, the guy's just battered him. Do you know what I mean? So be a man, just come out and say, I want to kick fuck out Ruiz. That's all you've got to say. And you get more respect. But, uh, all the rest of the division now, in my opinion, they're going to be licking the lips, aren't they? They will be licking their fucking lips. But, let's see if you get that uh, there, Nicola. But, uh, NCs is excited for the future. We've spoke about that. We spoke about that big daft. Six foot ten bodyguard crying. Yeah, they're all worried for the positions now, aren't they? AKA Skins. He'll be worried, won't he? Skins, AKA Skins. Or is, or is it Umar IFL Umar? I get confused. They'll all be worried now, but none of them will want to ask the real questions. What went wrong? Do you feel like you're flying around in private jets and you're wearing silk pyjamas? Do you feel like that? What is it? What is happening? Why were you tired after one round? What are you doing wrong? Are you going to have to have tests like David Price? Or is it basically the bully syndrome? You know, like Mike Tyson. Once Buster Douglas stood up to Mike Tyson, nobody really feared him after that, did they? And he was running through people. And I, what were he, 37 and 0? When he got beat, don't quote me on that, but... When Mike Tyson first got beat, what, his 38 fight? I can't remember how many fights he'd had, but Joshua's only had 20, 20, 23 fights and he'd been beat already, hasn't he? So, oh, trust me, they will see a big difference now, trust me. Yeah, you're going to see a big difference. I mean, who is, who is Joshua's best win? Who's his best win? Who? Who is Anthony Joshua's best win? I don't know. I don't know who his best win is. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you who his best win is after Vladimir Klitschko in his 42nd year. 18 month on Seti after a good hiding from the Gypsy King. In his 69th fight, life and death. An 11th round stoppage, wasn't it? 11 for 12, I think you're 11. Listen, been found out, aren't you? Joshua's not going to be able to learn in the next five months, is he? He's not going to be able to learn in the next five to six months how to be a technical boxer. He is what he is, isn't he? He is what he is, isn't he? He's an athlete. He's a Joe Joyce, isn't he? He's a big, strong athlete. But a boxer always beats a strong athlete. Ward beat Frotch, didn't he? Boxer against a fighter, sort of thing. And he fractures a fight and he wants to have a tear up. Ward, Ward will probably, probably beat, but probably beat Frotch. Nineteen times out of twenty, probably. Do you know what I mean? So, Styles make fights. Parker probably beats Ruiz again, but lo loses against Joshua Parker. But Ruiz beats Joshua. George Foreman beat Fraser, didn't he? Were it two times? 
Did, you, did Fraser beat him two times? Yeah. Foreman beat Fraser. Fraser beat Ali once. But Ali beat Foreman. So that's how we'll work it out. That's how we always say styles make fights, don't they? Joe Calzaghe got beat against Robin Reed, in my opinion, on points. It was a split decision. I had him beating him. Carl Froch knocked Robin Reed out. Styles make fights, don't they? So, let's have a look. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Why can't I live for yeah, we've spoke about that, and we why can't Eddie Hearn deliver for uh, Dillian White? Why can't he deliver for Joshua the Wilder and Fury fights? Why can't Eddie Eddie Hearn deliver the Ruiz fight? Because they're going to make things very difficult for him. Because Eddie Hearn, if you get to know him, he is a bit of a bully. He is a bit of a bully. So why can't he deliver for Callum Smith the Benavides fight? Why can't he deliver some big fights for him? So, is it Eddie Hearn's fault? Is it Sky's fault? Or is it the fact that nobody wants to fight Joshua and Dillian White and Kel Brook and Callum Smith? They don't seem to be getting anything, do they? Now, the big four for Eddie, right? White, Joshua, Kel Brook and Callum Smith. I call them the big four. Callum's got Ring, Ring Magazine champion, yeah? So why is he not on a pay-per-view fight? And why are they talking out their arseholes about Callum Smith selling out Anfield? Fucking do me a favour. You can't even sell out the Echo Arena with all Smiths on. David Price, Tom Sorkin, a lot of them. They're only selling half of that and Beefy Smith on. So now Callum Smith in a pay-per-view fight in my opinion. Don't do a ticket. He's going to need a dance partner that we're all going to want to see. If he fights Golovkin or if he fights somebody of that ilk... We'll all be going to see him, not Callum Smith. Kelbrook. Kelbrook's had three pay-per-views, so Eddie has delivered for him, really, hasn't he? But one were a walk over Frankie Gavin. He wasn't big enough. The other two were beatdowns that he shouldn't have took. He took them at the wrong times. He should have had Errol Spurs Spence, Errol Spence first, and Golovkin down the line. But where Kelbrook made the mistake, he tried to do Eddie Earn a favour by taking Golovkin fight. Because Eddie had said to him, well, you've still got your, your IBF belt to fall back on. Treating him like he's a, like it's a carpet. That's what I used to do with, with part exchanges. Well, I've got that part exchange. That's my profit. Yeah, I'll do a deal with you, mate. And I'm thinking, I can't sell this car, but yet I'm offered the money, what I paid for it, and another car as, as part X. But the part X, that is my sheer profit. So yeah, I'll do that, mate. Yes, please, Bob. And it's a bit like that. Look, Kel, take this fight against Golovkin. Do me a favour, and I owe you one. And you've still got your IBF to fall back on. And I'll get your uh, pay-per-view for that. Against Spence, you get two pay-per-views, but I need this favour. Yes, please, Eddie. Yes, please, Bob. So, Callum Smith, not pay-per-view, but he's a top-class fighter. Kel Brook, where is he going now, Kel Brook? He's in no man's land. He's not even training. Joshua, they're going to have to beg for it with his fight. They're going to make it very hard for him to get that fight. Dillian White, well, he had his chance to fight Joshua and he blew it, didn't he? Now them belts are gone now. He may never be a world champion now. Them belts could end up with Wilder now. So Dillian, he's going to have to go to WBC route now, isn't he? He's going to have to forget Joshua because that fight might never be there now. Joshua could just go. He might say, do you know what? After Rui's fight, I've got 110 million in bank. I'm just going to go. That's it. It could be live on an island. Clarissa Shields, stop crying. You know, you might, you might miss, you might still get the fight with Savannah Marshall, but you're not going to get the same money. Barry Earn, you're still the godfather, but you're also a prick, a slave master, for coming out with that. What a thing to say. But it is what it is. So. We mentioned about Barry Earn at his fishing event where he said at the end of 2020 they want the Wilder fight. Well, let me tell you this. They will take the Wilder fight now just to get a belt. So, it is what it is. Barry the Contradiction Hearn, that we spoke about that. We spoke about the carjacking and uh, Joshua's watch getting nicked. Ping!
You know what I mean? When are they going to come out and all tell, tell the truth to us all? And stop protecting Joshua. Just let him be himself. He's dying to be a bad man. Joshua is dying to be a bad man. He's dying to be one. 